Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dion and today we are doing a video where we're ranking niche aesthetics. You guys seem to really like videos where I like rank things like when I did like aesthetics I won't cover video or reviewing spring fashion trends. Like you guys seem to like that. There are like 20 aesthetics. So I tried to like not get super into like minutia of the aesthetics because you can get so many like little micro aesthetics. I try to stick with like pretty different categorically ones. So if you like niche aesthetic fashion videos and all that jazz, then definitely subscribe to my channel because I post videos everything <laughs> every Thursday. And with that, let's get into it. Okay, so my uh, tiers are going to be at the top, live, laugh, love it. That means it's just great. I have it in my closet. It's aspirational to me. We love it. The second one below that is wood experiment. So like, yeah, I would try it out. I would try to recreate outfits in this aesthetic. I would try to like, maybe try to get some things in this aesthetic. I, yeah, I wanna try it out. Third is some items are cute. So maybe I like certain things about it, but it's not super like, I don't know, whatever. Fourth is Blandy Melville, which means it's just bland, white, skinny, people doing white skinny people things like just uh, what is this aesthetic it's bl what <laughs> eh, you know like this is bland this is nothing it's just whatever and then the last one is not for me babes um it's just not for me not my type of style no hate but just won't be doing it so the first aesthetic is pale grunge now we have to separate the aesthetic from like the fashion right because this is a fashion channel as an aesthetic, pale grunge, like you should have seen my blog back in 2014, like loved it. However, fashion wise, I don't wear a lot of neutrals and I like, I, I liked it and I would like see it on blogs and like try to buy clothing like that. But I would always just like, I'm a maximalist. So pale grunge doesn't really like work with my vibe. So I'm gonna put it in some items queue. Like, yeah, maybe that's, yeah, I could see myself doing that, but it's not totally my thing. The next one is Vanilla Girl, which I can tell you right now is going into Blandy Melville. Like this is bland, this is nothing. It's just like white girls, white girl in. It's not anything special. We, why are we aesthetified? No, just like, so she's skinny and tan and blonde and wears white. That's the aesthetic, fabulous, let's move on. Next we have academia. I'm just combining light and dark academia together as one umbrella sort of aesthetic. And I am gonna put it like, it's almost live, laugh, love it. Cause I do have a lot of academia things and like I have experimented with it. It's not, well, you know what? Yeah, live, laugh, love it. I'm gonna put it there because I do like, especially in the start of fall, I do love doing a little like academia fit. I think it's so cute. And I, I, I like sort of maximalizing the dark academia aesthetic. So sticking with a very muted color palette, but adding in like tons of different textures and patterns within it, I think is really fun. So yeah, what am I, what am I saying? Live, laugh, love it. Dark academia is something that we did cover on this channel. If you want to check that out as well. This next one is a, another aesthetic that we've done on this channel, which is the Rockstar Girlfriend. And this, I am gonna put in wood experiment because I do like it and how kind of messy it is and it's fun. I don't wear a lot of like that type of clothing, like leather pants or fur jackets or sheer tops. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't, I'm not open to those items. I, I definitely, definitely am. So I'll put it in will experiment because I would like some things that are in the Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic, but I'm not living, laughing, loving it in the same way that like Dark Academia, there's things in my closet hanging right there that fit that description. <laughs> All right, this one is a newer aesthetic, which is Barbie core. And I like, I don't know whether to put it in live, laugh, love it or would experiment because I wear a lot of pink. Like I, I wear a lot of pink, not this Barbie fuchsia pink that Valentino came out with and everything, but I wear a lot of pink. I just, I don't know if one, when I wear my, my pink outfits, I don't know if one would describe me as like a Barbie core outfit, but maybe that's cause I'm brunette. So 
I mean, you know what? I'm gonna say live, laugh, love it because even if maybe my personal style doesn't fit it completely, I have what I would consider Barbie-ish outfits and I stand the people who are wearing all pink. I My bedspread is pink, my rug is pink. I have a lot of pink in my life. Pink is my favorite color. So I, I do live, laugh, love it, whether it's in spirit or in actuality. <laughs> Okay, this one I'm calling like modern maximalism or weird girl core. It's kind of a mix between the two. I think those are more like distinct aesthetics, but I'm just kind of combining them. And I am gonna put that in Live, Laugh, Love It because I feel like I do sort of do that. Like I sometimes purposely dress like kind of ugly or kind of weird because I think it's funny and I, I like it that it's a little bit like undercutting traditional fashion or whatever. So I I do like it. I'm being, I'm being very positive. Look at me. Oh my gosh, I'm a changed woman. Okay, so this one is Art Ho. This is like an older aesthetic. I really love this. It's not, I think, 100% my style. I'm gonna put it in like wood experiment, but I really, I like the visuals of this aesthetic. I like how androgynous it is because it's kind of tomboy for girls or female presenting people, but it's kind of femme for mass presenting people. So it really can go either way. I like the primary colors aspect of it. Um, I like this aesthetic when it was popular and I, I, I still do. I don't know if it's 100% my vibe, but I'd be open to art ho. I would be open to, I'd be open to an art ho. This one is Scandinavian style. So a lot of like oversized looks, a lot of like bright colors, and then also like kind of bright pastels and then quite minimalist colors as well. Like if you look at um, Copenhagen Fashion Week and stuff. I love the colorful aspect of Scandinavian style, but the flip side of it, which is very minimalist and kind of like utilitarian, isn't super my vibe. So like, there's a lot of it that I like. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it in some items queue. I'm changing. I'm trying to be a little bit more brutal, but because I do think like half of the aesthetic is very cute, that Scandinavian vibe, but I think the other half, I'm like, come on guys, color. All right, this one, model off duty, going straight to Blandy Melville. I hate to break it to all of you guys, but this is just a skinny person wearing jeans and a tank top. This is just a skinny person wearing all black. There's nothing. There's nothing here. Bland D Melville. Okay, so now we're gonna do indie sleeves. And I have this photo of these two girls in a mirror selfie. And I did a whole video on this as well. Um, I'm gonna put it in some items hue, I have to say. It's a little bit 2010 traumatizing for me. Kind of same with pale grunge. I don't know if I can like fully get behind it. I appreciate what people are doing with indie sleeves. And I think sometimes I even like, incidentally do an indie sleeves vibe, but yeah, not 100% like my vibe. The next one is Twee, which I am gonna put it in some items queue because similar to indie sleeves, it does give me some 2010s vibes. I do like the sort of like vintage aspect of Twee and I definitely like wore bird motifs back in 2010 when it was popular. So I like it and I do think a lot, I love a shift dress or a Peter Pan collar, but I'm not like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fully experiment with Twee. I'll, I'll pick and choose a couple items. It is princess core or royal core or regency core. And I'm gonna put it in, I don't know, like I'll put it in wood experiment simply because it's not, the reason why it's not in Live, Laugh, Love It is because I just don't have a ton of princessy items yet. I, I like a shabby princess aesthetic where it's a little bit more accessible than like fully wearing ball gowns just like out in the world, but I do stand that vibe and I would like to, to continue to do that vibe. So would experiment more with, with Regency core or princess core. And I did a video on that as well. Look at that. I'm just gonna link all the videos to the aesthetics I talked about down below. So it's nice and easy for you. Or actually, no, I'm not. Uh, there's a playlist, you can figure it out, sorry. So this one is the coconut girl aesthetic and I'm putting it straight in live, laugh, love it. I, this is also called like Key West Kitten or like, it. I don't know, like Y2K, H2O mermaid vibes. Like 
I absolutely love this. I am from Miami, Florida. So this is like very my vibe. It's colorful, it's kitschy, it's cute. I, it, yeah, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. This one is very out of my comfort zone, which is cyberpunk. I haven't done a video on this, but I've done a Leacore, which kind of takes a lot from the cyberpunk clothing aesthetic or cybercore or whatever it is. Personally, it's not for me, babes. Like I just, that level of like severity and wearing like black and muted colors is not, it's just not me. And like, I, I, I appreciate and like the look. I think it's cool and like very like apocalypse chic, but I, it's not really, so, like I would recreate it for fun, but it would never really be something that I would wear out. So not for me, babes, but it's for you. Love that for you. All right, the next one is Coastal Grandmother. And I did a video on this, and if you saw it, you would know. It's gonna put, be put in Blandy Melville. It's just, it's basically the same thing as Vanilla Girl, but she's on the beach and she's watching Ina Garden. I don't know. It's like, I, I kind of, I, I like the energy. I don't like the fashion. This one is the old money aesthetic. And I, I do very much like this aesthetic. I think I'm gonna put it in <sighs> some items cute. I'm just not, it's like, I like preppy, but again, I'm a maximalist. So I, I'm not restrained enough to feasibly do the old money aesthetic because I would end up looking more nouveau riche because I like maximalism. <laughs> This one is a newer aesthetic that I think is gonna be really, really big this summer, which is Coastal Cowboy. And I am gonna put it in Wood Experiment. It's so close to Live, Laugh, Love It. I think the only reason why it's not Live, Laugh, Love It is because I haven't actually executed it yet, but I rode horses for 10 years. I lived on the beach my whole life. I absolutely love this. It's, yeah, totally great summer vibes. I'm actually going to North Carolina this summer, which is very much this vibe, so super excited. This one, a classic, is Coquette, and I'm gonna put it in, surprisingly, <laughs> some items cute, because I do like a lot of Coquette stuff. It's funny, because I was going for a Dorothy Hale kind of thing from Wizard of Oz, and Dorothy Gale? It's Dorothy Gale, because that's the play on words for a tornado, duh. But I'm de I'm giving Dolores. I was trying to do Dorothy, I'm giving Dolores. And I don't claim any Navicob Lolita energy, except for the song by Lana Del Rey, because it slays. But yeah, Coquette, I, I like a lot of aspects of it. I just, I couldn't do it 24 seven. And I, cause I, cause I like other colors outside of like pink and red and a lot of like the values around Coquette is just not my thing. So it's gonna be put in like some items cute cause I'm like, I, I do like get a lot of inspiration from Coquette. This one is also kind of a newer one, Mermaid Core or Siren Core. And yes, I hear you. I will do a video on it. I see your comments. I hear you, I see you, I love you. You're seen, you're heard, you're listened to. I'm gonna put this in Wood Experiment cause I would love to do this this summer and like really experiment with layering and netting. I think it's really cute and hot. I love, I love beachwear fashion. I am such a Florida girl. This one is fairy grunge, which is, I'm kind of combining fairy grunge and whimsy goth in the same vibe. And I am going to put it in some items cute. Cause I, I love fairy grunge and whimsy goth, especially in the fall. Oh my God. And I, I do wear maxi skirts and boots and like maxi skirts all the time. So it fits my style. I'm just, I don't know, maybe, cause it's, I wouldn't necessarily experiment with it because I feel like I've done it a lot, but I, I wouldn't put it in like live, laugh, love it. So I'm going to put it in like some items cute. Cause yeah, I definitely like kind of, put on a fairy grunge outfit or a whimsy goth outfit every now and then. All right, the next one we're gonna do is clown core, which I want to love. I'm, just, I'm really not into clowns. So then like the makeup aspect or like when they do like the clown collar thing, I'm like, you lost me. Because it stems a lot from like maximalism and everything, but it's like the clown aspect that I'm like, you lost me. You almost had me, but it's like the final touches where it becomes, when it transitions from like 
weird girl maximalism to clowncore is when they kind of lose me. So I'm gonna put it in not for me babes. Like I really almost like it, but I can't get on board with clowns. This next one is the downtown girl. And you guys know what I'm gonna say. You guys know what I'm gonna say. Blandy Melville, literally Blandy Melville because that's a play on words of Brandy Melville, which most of the downtown girl stuff is from. Um, I, like, I did a video on it and it definitely made me more sympathetic to the downtown girl and like, okay, yeah, it's kind of a vibe. Like, it's a vibe, not a style. That's, that's the problem. It's a vibe, not a style. A lot of these quote aesthetics like that are in the Blandy Melville category is just a vibe. And this last one, you guys know where I'm gonna put it. It's cottagecore and it's going immediately in live, laugh, love it because I genuinely do. I would say cottagecore is the biggest influence on my style. I, I love skirts and dresses and fun collars and sort of like I, the vintage vibe, the, I love it. I, I absolutely love cottagecore and I, it's, Looking at actually my live, laugh, love it, like the academia mixed with Barbie core, mixed with maximalism, mixed with coconut girl, mixed with cottage core. I feel like that really does sort of fit my vibe. Barbie core again, I don't have like a ton of stuff that made, I don't know. It's just like, what would you consider Barbie core? Is it anything pink or does it have to be that specific color pink? Cause if it's anything pink, live, laugh, love it. But if it's just that specific color pink, I don't have a lot of that color. So I don't know, but. Yeah, that definitely like matches my style. Like academia, maximalism, coconut girl, cottage core. That's, yeah, that's genuinely everything in my closet. So yeah, look at me. I'm not even that negative. Like, yeah, I'm not, I only had two in the not for me babes uh, aesthetic range. And it's just like, no hate, but like, I, I won't be participating in that. Let me know what you think about this rating. If you think some aesthetics deserved better or worse and give this video a thumbs up because I post videos every Thursday, except sometimes when I just get stuck in traffic and post my video late, like I did last week. Sorry about that. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I post content there most days. I usually say every single day, but honestly, I'm kind of like, taking a step back, but I, I am on it. I'm out and about. So definitely follow me there. And with that, have a happy, happy day. Bye.